All right, an afternoon update on our tropical system to the south of us in the uh, Western Caribbean, and here it is. This is Invest 93, and the National Hurricane Center is running models on this. We'll look at them in just a second. They have it moving off to the north and the northwest or to the north up toward the Florida Panhandle. Regardless, all this rainfall and uh, cloud cover on the eastern side of the system is going to move north with it and cover the state of Florida over the next three days with a very high uh, possibility of some very heavy rain, some gusty winds, maybe even to gale force, which would be around 30 to 35 miles an hour at times. And a little closer look here, this is our area of low pressure. You can see just trying to get a little bit of a spin in the atmosphere going here, a little better organized this afternoon than earlier this morning. And I put this cone on here just to kind of give you an idea where uh, the models have it kind of going in this general direction, somewhere inside that cone over the next uh, 12 to 24 hours and then entering the Gulf of Mexico on Monday. All right, here's the models from the National Hurricane Center. You can clearly see that they're bringing it up to the uh, New Orleans, uh, Louisiana area or the western portions of the uh, state of Florida over the next couple of days. So we'll just have to keep an eye on it to see exactly where it goes. These models can change from time to time, uh, left or right. So uh, many more runs to go before the system gets into the Gulf of Mexico. The next name on the list would be Brett and uh, then Cindy and hopefully we won't get too much further down the list. I'm sure we may do that. <laughs> as far as the water temperatures go, where the system is sitting right now, they're about 84 to 85 degrees out ahead of it and uh, in the uh, Gulf of Mexico, again, 84 to 85 degrees. Let's zoom in here a little closer. You can clearly see that all the way through the uh, northern Gulf of Mexico, 83, 84 degrees temperatures. So there's plenty of fuel out there for the system if it wants to get going.